Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a senior physician, consultant in internal medicine and diabetology. And I am practicing in Primer Diagnostics at Sajapura Road, Bangalore. I have been practicing in Bangalore for the last 10 years and I have a large expanse of experience of 25 years. If we talk about hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, these are something to do with the levels of blood sugar. So, as you know, the prefix of hyper is the higher sugars and the prefix of hypo in hypoglycemia is lower sugars. And generally when we talk about the symptoms of these two, we can even think of symptoms even without diabetes. Because the moment we say anything to do with sugar, we always think of diabetes. But do you know that there are uh, conditions where physiologically we have to go through a higher level of sugar and a low level of sugar. Like for example, once you get up from your lunch, you might have high sugars, but not necessarily it is a hyperglycemia because it is physiological. And hypoglycemia when you are starving or when you are physiologically feeling that you have to eat or rather you get an appetite, maybe your sugars are low. So these are the signals which the body gives you and what the brain gets, especially when you have fluctuating sugars. Now, hyperglycemia should always be considered in terms of a chronicity of the events, or the chronicity of the condition. And it's a gradual process. Hyperglycemia, if you consider from a pathological point of view, it may be developing over a period of time where the levels of sugars cannot be metabolized and they persist high in spite of the physiological variations. And hence it becomes important to understand whether they fall into the range of diabetes or not. And the symptoms can range between dullness, giddiness, headache or excessive fatigue. And there are other symptoms of diabetes which I am not going to go into. But generally the hyperglycemia, what I am saying, is a slow onset of problems, so slow onset of symptoms. Very strangely, the symptoms of hypoglycemia may be also a little bit more pronounced, but maybe having the same category of events. For example, giddiness, like I said. Giddiness is a very, very prominent and common symptom in hypoglycemia. And it's an acute problem. Hypoglycemia, when it is coming as a pathological symptom, it may be in diabetes or it may not be in diabetes, but it can have the same symptoms. There will be overlap of symptoms. The only place I feel that there will be no overlap of symptoms can be when the patient is feeling altered sensorium. Otherwise, it can be very high sugars giving altered sensorium. But a moment the sugar is going below a certain level, brain stops recognizing, or brain stops getting oriented to that level of sugar and hence people will have altered sensorium, people can go into coma, people can go into convulsions and people can fall unconscious. So that is why it is important to understand the acuteness and the short onset of hypoglycemic symptoms and which is more critical than a condition like hyperglycemia. So always remember you should check the blood sugar levels in all these overlapping symptoms First of all, to rule out whether the sugar has gone low. Rather than thinking about high sugar, we should think about low sugars and immediately act on it.